is a bunch of Octillionaires in GTA 5. And today, I'm taking each and every one of their vehicles. These are going to be the most luxurious, expensive, and ultimate vehicles we've ever seen. And rumor has it, one of them is even a giant golden banana on wheels. But whilst we're collecting these vehicles, these fellas behind me are going to be upgrading my house. Because once we have this amazing collection, we're going to have the craziest party ever. Oh, and we're going to be seriously rich. We'll be done in seven hours. Well, I suppose that's cutting it close, but hey, <laughs> it's going to be so worth it. Let's go and find our first Octillionaire car. Octillionaires aren't just rich. They have this much money in their bank account and more. Uh, where we go? Just send it across the screen? <laughs> I told you guys, it's a serious amount of money. That's more than a million, a billion, a trillion, a quadrillion, a quintillion, a sextillion, a septillion. It's an octillion. Th that's how much money they have. So when I say that they're going to be pretty nice cars, it's a bit of an understatement because these cars are going to be the best we've ever seen in our life. So the first location is actually not too far away. It's underneath May's bank. This vehicle is owned by either the richest man, the auxillionaire, or maybe one of his family members. Oh, hang on a second. I just missed the entrance. It's right down here. He really tried to guard this place off. Wow, these little things, I can just drive through them. <laughs> they just don't want us to think there's a car down here. Well, here we go. Am I seriously too late? No way. It might be around here. Just in case, let's take a... <gasps> yes, it is. What? Hang on a second. Is this seriously the car we're going for? This looks like a Lego car. Oh my days, it actually is. This is made of Lego. <laughs> it's made by Bugatti. You can tell they have a lot of money because this car was made by Bugatti just for them. Can I actually get inside? It's gold. This is solid gold Lego. I don't even want to know how much this is worth. It's going to be worth a ton of money. I am literally driving around a giant bar of gold. <laughs> This is crazy. All right, so this is the inside. As you can see, it's pretty basic. It's made of Lego, so nothing actually works. How does this thing even drive? They must have put an engine inside or something. But hey, I am now in my first ever Octillionaire supercar. All right, let's just get out of here. But first things first, I want to see if we can actually break this. Hmm, where do I want to crash this car? Let me think about it. Actually, I'm just going to crash this car straight into this truck. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The car looks okay, actually. Dude, I literally came out the window and the car is fine. <laughs> How is it fine? That doesn't make sense. All right, this is a seriously strong Lego Bugatti. It's pretty fast too. I can go faster than so many cars on the road. And by the looks of it, the lights even work on this thing as well. So it's just amazing. I've seen enough. This is absolutely insane. This is an awesome first vehicle. And if this is the first one we get today, what is the second one gonna be like? Oh, I've just remembered something. One of the cars we're collecting is a golden banana car. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It was on the list. So I'm gonna look out for that one. Well, it looks like they're hard at work. Thanks, guys. Keep it up. I want to see the best house upgrade ever. In the meantime, uh, you can enjoy looking at my golden Lego Bugatti. I would love to take this apart. Actually, can I open any of the doors around the front? You know, like the trunk, the hood. Is there any space in here I can use? No, that sucks. I can't open the front or the back. Th this is the most you can do. You can only open the doors, which require clicking in and out of position. Right, you won't believe this. Even the steering wheel looks plastic. Like, out of everything, they gave it a plastic steering wheel. <laughs> this next vehicle is in the Los Santos Customs. Whoever owns this one clearly wanted some repairs or upgrades. I'm just gonna presume they're a pretty bad driver. I mean, why else would it be in the Los Santos Customs? Here we go, the door's opening. Are you ready to see what it is? Hello, it's just your friendly neighbor, Franklin. Oh! <gasps> Are you kidding me? Is this seriously the car? Yo, I gotta get my hands on this. It's not exactly the banana car, but it looks pretty awesome to me. Well, 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 I'll be taking this ride. It looks crazy, dude. <laughs> the mechanic literally isn't doing anything. He must think I'm just here to collect it anyway. Well, technically, I did collect the vehicle, so I'll take it. But hey, check it out. This is actually a beast. I mean, look at the way this is designed. Whoa, okay, the whole thing is made of lights? What? Yo, this is pink lights too? Okay, this is seriously custom. Like, not many vehicles have pink lights. That's insane. I just love the way it looks around the back. Let's look around the front as well. Look at the side on view. Oh my goodness, this is actually beautiful. I had no idea what to expect today. All I knew is that the cars were going to be nice, but not this nice. This is insane. So this is the Mercedes Arrow. It's incredibly rare. Like, I've never seen any other car like this outside of GTA 5. It's worth enough 
fathomable amount. Like, none of us could afford this, even if we put our money together. I mean, you can just tell because the wheels, they're not even on the ground. It's literally metal hovering. I don't understand how it works. I think it's something to do with electromagnets. And when there's electromagnets involved, it means you can go seriously fast. Let's test out the speed, actually. I'm gonna take this corner, and I'm gonna put my foot down on the acceleration as much as I can. All right, I've smashed 100 miles an hour. Not bad. We are currently in the red right now, like ticking between red and white. I'm on 9,000 spins per minute on my tires. Oh my days. I don't think my car can handle that. It, the speed isn't exactly increasing, so this seems like the maximum speed right now. 100 miles an hour? I'm kind of disappointed. I thought this thing could do even faster. Who needs a really fast car when it looks like this? I mean, you want people to look at the car and not see a big blur across their vision. <laughs> you know what? I think this is perfectly designed, and it is my favorite car so far. I am so excited to see what we get next. These Otilinas have a seriously good collection of vehicles. All right, guys, let's find out what the next one is. What a lovely day to play golf. That's what the next Octillion is doing. Meanwhile, we are about to take his car. <laughs> let's go inside and see which ride is left to take. Okay, hang on a second. I think I can see it. It's gold again. I think every single vehicle today is going to be gold. <laughs> All right, it looks like they actually have some security this time. Have you seen the size of those tires? That's like a modern day horse and carriage, except there's no horses and it might be a carriage, but it's on wheels. All right, those guys look pretty serious. He's cracking his neck and that guy's facing away from me. You know what? I think we can get them. Let's take them, Franklin. Here goes nothing. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, the other guy saw me too. And he's down. Oh no, he's still on the floor. Are you kidding me? Okay. Right, looks like we got... Oh my days, he's still alive. How much armor do you have? Okay, I got both of the guards. We have alerted a few people. But the alarm's going off. Hey, my car. Uh, let's go. And I can already hear them coming over to me. All right, we better get inside. Come on, Franklin, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. This car is so rare, it doesn't even have a name. It just says it's an SUV. All right, I'm getting out of here. Thank you very much, guys. This is a beast. I mean, this car looks pretty stable with tires like these. Thick rubber, nothing in the center. That's really strange. And look how low down the middle is. Not exactly the vehicle I would have expected to drive, but hey, it's still pretty nice. And the entire front is made of glass. I can see everything. All I need now is auto drive. Did somebody say auto drive? Oh, wait, it's got auto drive? Are you kidding me? Where would you like to go? I would like to go home. Please, take me to Franklin's house. Okay, setting coordinates now. Oh my days, it's actually driving for me. This is incredible. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, how the tables turned. Beforehand, Octillionaires wouldn't have to lift a finger. But now we're slowly taking their cars. We're able to experience the life of a true Octillionaire. Hey, can I shoot from this too? Let me find out. No, I can't. It's just one big window. Well, that sucks. Well, that's where the Octillionaires went wrong. They will never be able to defend themselves. Oh, wow. It actually knew where my house was, too. It's literally up there. All I had to say was my name. No, okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I <laughs> take it back. It's taking the wrong turn. How's it looking now? How's it looking? Ooh, okay. They've taken up some dirt on my garage. Hey, guys, you know my house is there, right? I mean, that's what I want upgrading. Not my garage. Yeah, we know. We'll get it done. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't having to go. I was just asking you something, okay? <laughs> Listen, I got the third car. It's pretty amazing. Don't ruin my day. I want to see what other vehicles these Octillionaires have. Let's go find out. The next vehicle I'm after is just behind this wall. I'm in the most expensive estates in the entire of Los Santos, which means an Octillionaire has to live behind this door. Let's Let's do a little peek, shall we? Oh no, they've locked the gate. And I don't think I can climb. Yes, I can. All right, nice one. Whoa, 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 watch out, Franklin, watch out. Okay, they got a few guards patrolling. Not to worry. I know how to handle this. Hey, I got some mail for you guys. <laughs> Jokes, it's just my gun. <laughs> Wait, get them, get them, get them, get them. Wait, he's in the bush. I can't see him. Yes, I got him. Well, I think that's everyone. All right, Franklin, get inside the beautiful vehicle. Oh, wait a second, there's this guy. He must have been on a toilet break or something. Anyone else? Don't exactly want to get shot, you know? All right, I think that is everyone. So I don't really know what this is. Is it a Lamborghini? It's a total mystery to me. I love the color on the inside. It's solid gold once again. Let's find out, shall we? I'll jump in. That is a very long door. It doesn't have a name. It just says Karen. That's really interesting. What about on the inside? No logos either. All right, this is a total random vehicle. Whoever made this, I think was made exclusively 
for the Octillionaire, which wouldn't surprise me. And this must be a concept car they created. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I do not recognize it whatsoever. But I love the vents around the back and the design of this is pretty awesome. The wind mirrors are pretty much non-existent. Kind of strange about that. I can't see anything going on. <laughs> can't see behind me. But who needs to see behind you? When all you need to do is look at the car. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, okay. Brakes aren't too good. Let's test out the speed, shall we? All right, let's take it up to Franklin's house. Just around this corner. Do a nice little cheeky drift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me go now. Now we're picking up some speed. Now, we're getting pretty fast. The corners are a little bit more difficult to take. But, hey, guys, I think we're doing it. <laughs> and test out those brakes. Oh, boy, that was close. All right, the brakes really aren't that good. Everything else, pretty fantastic. This car literally looks like it's come from the future. I have never seen a vehicle like this before. And will we see another one like it again? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go and find the next vehicle. This is the biggest estate in GTA 5. And it's the vineyard where they make wine. I gotta make sure that when I steal this vehicle, we don't wind up in trouble. Seriously? All right, no one laughed? That's cool. I'll just stop with my jokes then. <laughs> this is a private event. You are not allowed here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll use my quiet gun instead. <laughs> sorry, mister. Don't, don't, don't get up. Stay down. All right, we got him. Now, let's go and find this vehicle, shall we? It's definitely not that one, and it's not the red one. They look totally normal. Let's take a look in the vineyard, shall we? Oh, my days. There's another guard. All right, let's get him. Sorry, mister. Sorry, you gotta go. Uh-oh. Looks like I've alerted everybody. And, oh, my days. That's the vehicle. That's the one. Hey, don't shoot through the window, please. We'd be considerate. I gotta steal this. I don't want to repair the vehicle. Come on, Franklin. Get his toe. Oh, my days. It's so difficult getting him. All right, that's it. Go around, go around, go around. You. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> yes. Looks like I got security. Is it even a car? I have no idea, dude. It's just a giant wheel. Hey, let's jump inside. I want to see what this is all about. All right, so it's gold. It's got some pretty cool lights. It drives. That's so weird. How does this even drive? It is a giant golden wheel. Like, I don't understand. This is crazy. One octillionaire must have got really bored. Unless he said, I want a vehicle shaped like an O. So everyone knows I'm an octillionaire. <laughs> Maybe that's what he did. Although, pretty inconvenient because the steering on it is dreadful. Oh, look, a police chase going on. Hey, I, I want to join in on that police chase. Let's see what's going down. Hey, officers, uh, watch out. I'm coming too. Oh, boy. Okay, we're upside down. Franklin, we're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this vehicle is so disorientating. All right, maybe I won't join under the police chase. We are not gonna make it. Sorry, sorry. A person in wheel coming through. <laughs> sorry, guys. So this is the first person view. If I go up here, we can just flip around. That's insane. <laughs> How does that even work? Whoa, uh, what's that noise? I think I just jetted up some engines. <laughs> Look at me go. This is awesome. I actually love this vehicle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Am I flying? What? No one told me you're flying. <laughs> no one told me. This is crazy. I am a flying circle in the sky. Okay, I've officially seen it all. All right, this is the best car ever. Lego Bugatti? No. The Mercedes? Maybe. This? This is another level. Hey, look, now I've got a flying car. I can actually see what progress you guys have done. Have you done any progress? Seriously? You've done nothing? Dude, all you've done is dig up my rooftop. I'm gonna run out of time. I want this party to happen, and I want the upgrade to happen. It'll be done, I promise. Yeah, well, I paid you 50 million million bucks to get this done. You better actually get it done. Ah, people trying to live up to expectations here, guys. Don't make promises you can't keep. I'm gonna find the next vehicle. Whichever octillionaire this is, is clearly having a great day at the beach. Now, the public car park is a little bit empty, which means they must have hidden their car somewhere else. One can only presume it's behind one of these buildings. I mean, if I was trying to hide a car somewhere, I would put it where nobody would expect to find it. I mean, if it's not here, it can't really be anywhere else. So, fingers crossed it is. Is it in this garage door? Nope. And no. Well, oh my days, there it is. No way. It's another golden car. It's a supercar. It looks like a surfboard design on the front, which is pretty cool. Hey, let's get inside. I want to check this out. <laughs> It's even got a golden roof rack. And yo, did you see that door? Guys, I gotta show you the door again. They slide out. That's crazy. Oh my days. Oh. So this is the interior. There is a huge roll cage in here. Whoever owns this ride must be a really good driver. Or a really bad one. Either way, they're getting in a lot of crashes. And I'm not too surprised. When the acceleration is as good as this car, how could you not race this round like Santos? I am jetting off on the road. Well, watch out, mister. Just gotta go on a nice little 
dollar drive here. Let's do some jump, shall we? But not exactly the normal way. I'm just gonna jump up these tiny little hills in the road. Like this one. Three, two, one. <laughs> I would love to know what's in that roof rack up there. A surfboard, a bodyboard. Hey, maybe just a lot of food. Who knows? We are going incredibly fast. Probably a bit too fast, Franklin. Yeah, there's no such thing as too fast. We're okay. We're gonna be fine. Are you ready for this, guys? I'm gonna do one amazing drift. Here we go. Scoot! <laughs> so this is a Cognizeg, a Jira, and these cars are meant for speed, and they look beautiful too. It's got an amazing spoiler, the engine around the back is fierce, and the interior is pretty high spec. But that's everything you need to know about this car. I want to find something interesting, like another giant circle or something crazy. So let's take this one back to my house and find the next one. Don't forget, there's still a giant golden banana on wheels apparently, which we're still yet to find. I have a feeling that is going to knock these vehicles out of the park, but I guess there's only one way to find out. I've done some research, and the golden banana on wheels is probably in the underground car park. Let's find out, shall we? Just head inside. No, it's not around there. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, dude. I found something. This is not the golden banana. It's, uh... What? Seriously? What kind of octillionaire owns this? Well, somebody who might be disabled. What? This is so small. As far as a four-wheel scooter goes, this is um, probably pretty luxurious. <laughs> Look at the lights out the front. That's awesome. There's a bucket seat inside and a footrest underneath right next to the cogs. It's a little bit dangerous. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch where you're going. Oh, let's put this on the highway, shall we? Then I oh, my days. Watch out, guys. Watch out, please. <laughs> Don't run me over. This is a really, really flimsy vehicle. The engine, I can hear it already. It is trying so hard. It genuinely sounds like a plane. Wait, can I can I take off in this? Is that possible? No, it's not possible. I wish it was. <laughs> Look at me go. Oh, my days. I must be going like 100 miles an hour right now. If we crash, Franklin, we are probably dead. <laughs> Look at me go. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> watch out, Franklin. Watch out. All right, maybe we shouldn't go so fast. It's not the banana car, though, so I'm a bit disappointed. Maybe the next one will bring us more luck. Oh, man, it's made even more mess now. Okay, listen, this house better be upgraded. It will be, I promise. You better live up to it, or else you're gonna regret it. I invited the entire city out for this. How many cars have we got already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven luxury cars. Where's that golden banana, though? Welcome to Arthur's Pass Trails. We're going on a walk together, because this next vehicle has been left on this hiking route somewhere. Whichever up Billionaire owns this, clearly loves walking. Hello, has anyone seen a vehicle? No, nope. all right, cool, you just carry on hiking. No one wants to answer my questions then. I really want to find this golden banana. I've never driven a banana car before. I've driven a baguette car, but not a banana car. Hold on just a second, Simeon. <laughs> What? Huh? This is a, this is a breadstick. This is a French baguette. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. And the baguette car is pretty awesome. It was so long. Whoa! It's not the banana car, but it looks even better. Wow. Okay, this is the biggest car we've collected yet. It looks like it's gold once again. Those wheels look huge. Oh my days! Look at that. There's a lady standing there, and there's the tires. They are bigger than human beings. With that vehicle, no one will stop us. I'll be able to go on rampages anywhere I want to. I can go down hills. I can break into the military base. We can do anything. <laughs> oh my days. Look how big the door is, dude. It just says Jeep. Yeah, well, I guess that. This is a concept design Jeep because you can't buy these on the streets. I know that for a fact. I'm pretty sure I would know if this was driving down the road. It takes up two lanes. It's a beast and uh, no one's gonna mess with you. They'll literally get out of your way. I'm pretty confident about it. Apart from rocks and trees. Yep, those things, those things are not gonna get out your way. And bad driving. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, hang on a second. Why is a police officer chasing someone in a vehicle that small? <laughs> I gotta catch up with this. I need to see what's going down. This is amazing. Franklin, drive faster. This is not exactly the vehicle to be driving fast in. It takes forever to gain some speed. Whoopsie. Sorry, police officer. <laughs> Just ran him over. He's in the smallest car ever. That's crazy. Oh, my days. And he's already skidding out. Okay, I'm going to help you out, officer. I I'll, I'll, I'll get the person for you. Hey, pull over. Pull over now. Oh, my days. How did I not even touch the vehicle? No one gets away from the police under my watch. Whoa. Whoa, you're smart. You know, breaking before I can even break. All right, that's it. I'm just going to shoot these guys instead. Yeah, that's what you get for escaping the police. These were the right people, right? I'm really not too sure. I'm just going to get driving. Let the police. 
Holly still with the rest. So there's really not a lot to see on the inside. There's actually nothing to see on the inside. There is a steering wheel and that is it. There's no speakers, no, uh, no stats, no dials. Oh, there is four seats though. That's pretty good. I would have thought you could get more, but hey, they stuck with four seats. And just like that, home sweet home. I think I'll leave this car right about here. You know, take up the whole road and everything. Wow, what a lovely neighborhood. Those guys have lions carved into concrete statues. But the house in question today is this one. Hey, I think you need a new, uh, new gate. That one's come off for some reason. This is a beautiful house, by the way. Whoa, that's a beautiful car. Looks like I found the octillionaire couple. Afternoon, people. How you doing? I love that hat. That's a really cool hat, my guy. <laughs> Can I get that hat? Oh, oh, wow. You don't want to give me the hat then. All right. Well, I'll take it myself. <laughs> Ow. Ow, don't you dare try and punch me. Ah, he actually got me. Get him, Franklin. Take that, mister. That's what you get for having a number plate that says you poor. Really? Really, bro? You got to go that far? You know what? I'm ignoring that for now. I don't want your stinky hat anymore. I want this car, which has golden seats, golden paintwork. This is a really old classic car. It's an MG. Yo, jump inside, Franklin. Jump inside. I want to give this a whirl around the roads. Out of every single vehicle we've collected today, this is hands down the oldest. Those wheels are pretty delicate and thin. Let's take it down the driveway. Oh, hey, medics. Uh, he's up there, but I wouldn't go and get him. He doesn't like people. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep moving. I love the curves on the dashboard. That's awesome. This car has been made to look like a masterpiece. That's what I can say 110% with confidence. There is so much going on in here, and it's only done three miles. This may as well be brand new. It's been built and delivered, and that's it. It looks like the Otilinez didn't even get to drive this car, which is so strange. I'm really happy with this vehicle. The speed is pretty impressive, and the control not so much, but the inside is where the love is been shown. Franklin, let's take this one back to your house. It's no banana car, but hey, it's still pretty good. There is no way you guys are gonna finish that in time. If you actually upgrade my house in time, I will pay you guys double. I'm that confident you won't. I will finish the house, I promise. I'd rather see actions rather than words. Let's go and get the next ride, Franklin. I think there's only like two left. This octillionaire is at the science labs, so they must be developing something or they must be buying something or they could just work here. Either way, it's a pretty cool place for an octillionaire to be because the potential potential for what they could make is endless. They could make serums that make you grow super duper tall and strong. Either way, I don't really care too much because uh, I found their vehicle and it looks pretty nice. This is an off-road buggy. It's solid gold again. It says, what does that say at the top? GTR Racing. Now you know this is going to be fast. Dual exhaust. Look at that engine around the back and the suspension around the tires. It's made by Ford. It's the Raptor. Let's get inside and drive this around the roads. Yo, I love of the golden mud flaps too. All right, it's pretty fast. It's awesome. I like it. This is one of the fastest vehicles I've collected actually. Like the acceleration is not crazy, but the speed, it's still building up. We're going faster and faster and faster and faster. The interior is pretty basic. There's just a small display down there. My legs are getting a bit cramped and it's only a two seater. I'm kind of surprised they took this to the laps. I would have thought this would have been around the beach or something. Either way, I've got the next vehicle. Let's bring this home and find that banana vehicle. If there's only one vehicle left, Left. It has to be the banana vehicle. I think I'll be leaving you there. And we might have to redirect this party. These guys are not gonna upgrade my house in time. We can hear you. It'll be ready. I don't believe you guys. I honestly don't believe you. But hey, maybe I'll find my banana boat car and my luck will turn around. What did I say? I told you guys I would find it. This is officially the banana car. <laughs> All right, we got like four different seats in here. That's awesome. Looks like somebody decided to go to church on the wrong day. They're gonna be so annoyed when they find out this has been taken. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my banana car. Can't believe an octillionaire owns this. I feel kind of bad. I'm literally ruining their fun. All right, how's it around the back? Pretty good. I could do it filling up the seats, actually. Does anyone else want to join in? I would love to get some guests in here. Let's see if there's anyone around. Hey, you, mister, do you want to get in my banana car? Bruh, wait a second. He's actually getting in. No, no way. Are you actually gonna get in? Oh, come on. It's not that hard. Just climb in, dude. Climb in. <laughs> Oh, guys, just jump in. It's a banana car. You can get in. Really? You're just gonna stand there walking? Okay, you guys you guys are dumb. Uh, you, no one deserves to get in my banana car then. <laughs> this is mine and all mine. I can't believe it. I've officially found the final octillionaire vehicle and it's an actual golden banana. There's lights on this, which is crazy. It's on its own separate trailer so you can drag this into the sea and turn it into a boat if you wanted to. Whoever made this, whoever created this, you did a fantastic job. Made simply for fun. Speaking of fun, 
though. I want to go back home and see how the builders got on. Because tonight is the biggest party ever. And I need to make sure this house is upgraded. Gentlemen, this is the final car in their collection. But as you can see, the house hasn't been upgraded. So, you need to pay me all of my money back or perform a miracle. The choice is yours. I'm sorry about your upgrade. But don't worry. I'm going to upgrade you into a bigger and better house. Just a little bit further away from here. And buy! You didn't just buy that house with my money, did you? Yes, every single dollar. Really? Bro, come on. I could have done that myself. But let's take a look at these cars. This is a pretty awesome collection. I got a wheel car. I got a monster truck. I got an off-road one, an old one, a classic one. I got some pretty amazing cars. But let's go and check out this house and put the cars on display. Whoa, this is my house? Okay, I forgive you guys. This is way better than I thought. And there's all of my luxury cars. Thanks for moving them over here, guys. You're the best. Check it out. I got waterfalls at the entrance of my own house and my own pond. Wow, this is awesome. All right, guys, I'm officially impressed. Thank you so much. Al Franklin, stand up, stand up. What have you done? Okay, let's get inside the house. This is going to be the best party ever, 100%. I got a kitchen. I got so much open space, a lounge area. This is one of my bathrooms. I actually don't believe it. The whole thing is made of marble. And this is one of the bedrooms. It even comes with a gym, a fan, and a TV, and a beautiful view of Los Santos. Well, Franklin, that's officially every single octillionaire car in GTA 5. Comment your favorite car below, smash like if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe. But thanks for watching, my name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome.